Hello, welcome back. Stuff bell peppers. And this ones are going to stuff with a combination of lamb, ground meat, and cauliflower rice. And I'm telling you, this recipe that I designed turned out mind-blowing delicious. But before I start, hit the like button, share this video. This food is nutritious and it's also delicious. So share with others so they can also learn and enjoy from the experience. Subscribe if you haven't. And above all, grant some comments. I will make sure I reply back to you. Give me ideas. I will appreciate that. So go nowhere. Let's create. So this is going to be a three step process. Process number one is going to be the cauliflower rice, which is going to be cooking. You're going to be cutting the cauliflower and then you're going to be grinding it and then you're going to cook it. The second step is going to be the actual lamb ground meat. And this process is going to consist of you know, the marinating and the cooking of the uh, lamb ground meat. And for that, you're going to need about six or seven teeth of garlic, means about one quarter of an onion chop. And then you're going to have some spices. Um, and this include black pepper, or you can use black coarse pepper, you're going to have some fresh oregano, some fresh thyme. You're going to have some smoked paprika. You're going to have some salt. I went with the pink Himalayan salt. You're going to have some ground ginger. You're going to have some uh, ground turmeric. And I also have um, some ground cajan red pepper because I want my stuff with a kick and some grated tomatoes. And then step three will be to actual choose which pepper, bell pepper you want to use, stuff them and cook them in the oven. And I'm going to show you everything real quickly. The cauliflower rice. In essence, you get the cauliflower. You cut it take the green leaf out and you start grinding it. You grind that baby until you get the rice, the cauliflower rice out. Then you get a hot pot. High heat. Put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just a little bit. And what you're going to do, add the cauliflower. And I have about two cups here, by the way. And you cook it. And this is going to take you maybe a couple minutes, not a lot of time to me not at the most. But you cook it at a high heat until it's cooked. That's simple. Did it for a couple of minutes. And what you're going to do, you're going to transfer to another container. So it's time to start mixing the ingredients. For this lamb, ground meat and I'm going to be generous I'm going to grab this I'm going to start adding it to my mix mixing it up and I'm going to add this baby here I'm going to start mixing things up and I'm actually going to use my hand it's simpler
then I'll, go, I'll do the same with the uh, onions and I do the same with the garlic. Just mix it well. That's simple. Hot pot, I went from high heat, reduce it to medium high, start adding the meat. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cook this baby. Smells delicious already. Smells delicious. So you're trying to break it in with a, with a wooden spoon, plastic spoon, it doesn't matter if it's wooden or plastic. And then what I do is, I grab some of the tomato paste and I put a little bit on top. And some of, in, in some instances, I might have a little bit of chunk of tomatoes here and there, it doesn't matter. Put some on the top. See how beautiful? This smells delicious, by the way. To let it cook while breaking it down. So I don't want my meat too juicy for this particular recipe. So I'm going to take some of this stuff out, kind of strain it a little bit, you know. After I strain it out a little bit, I'm going to move it back here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of the rice. That's my cauliflower rice. And the heat is off, by the way, because this is already cooked. I'm just mixing things up and I'm using the pan because the pan is hot. Although the heat is off, the pan's still warm. Mixing things up a little bit. And if the pan wasn't warm, that's fine. All you're doing is mixing things up. So I'm going to start Stuffing the uh, peppers. The one I'm not going to use is the green one. And I have a ch relatively short video which I'll link in my description. Click the title of this video, go to my description, and you're going to find a like, four minute video that compare uh, these peppers by nutritional value, flavor, and other things. And there you will see why I'm not going to use the green one. Uh, I'm just going to go with the ones that have the more nutritional value and the better taste. So, priority goes to the red, and the other two about equal, the yellow and the orange. So you start filling thin up. See? And you do the same for all the other peppers. And not just peel the top, I also took the seeds out, by the way. You do pretty much the same, you fill them up. They are beautiful. And get them ready for the oven. So preheat the oven at 385 degrees Fahrenheit and put those baby in. So it's been five minutes at 385 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch this to broil and I'm going to put it a high. But I don't want this uh, to dry, so earlier when I drained the juices out of the meat, remember when I was draining that out? 
I didn't throw them away because I'm going to use them now to make sure my meat doesn't dry. Doesn't dry up because I'm going to put it in broil. So I want to keep it juicy. And this is what I'm doing. I'm putting some here. Then I'm going to put it in and I'm going to let it broil for no more than five minutes, by the way. Pretty much that's it. And you have the option to put Parmesan cheese, shredded Parmesan cheese or mozzarella cheese, preferable Parmesan. So it's up to you.